All right, y'all, here is the next video on creating effective thesis statements and topic sentences. So I just wanted to show you just again how to create a thesis statement. Remember, your thesis statement is going to be in your very first paragraph, your introductory paragraph, and it will be the last sentence of your first paragraph. It's the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. Uh, from the uh, packet today, a thesis statement is a sentence that expresses the writer's opinion on a particular subject, and it is reasonable for the reader of a thesis statement to assume that it will be supported by evidence. Okay? I'm going to go down. Remember that you're looking as you're going through and you're thinking about what your thesis statement is going to be. You look for patterns all right, in your annotations. The three things that all thesis statements must have is a subject, and that subject is usually the abstract portion of your writing prompt, such as characterization, tone, theme, or mood. Okay, Most of ours will probably be for this paper on theme. Okay, The next thing that your paper has to have is an opinion Okay, uh, about the subject. Okay, What about the theme? Okay, and then the last um, element that your essay has to have is the concrete element. Those are the literary devices that provide evidence to support your opinion. Okay, um, an effective thesis statement makes an assertion about what the writer believes to be true about the abstract portion of the prompt. Okay. And remember, our prompt is how certain experiences can affect and impact the way people view life and their world, and how those changes impact the way they view the world, okay? All right. In the activities, you're supposed to look at, do they have the three main things that should go, the main, the main elements that go into a thesis statement. The subject, the opinion, and the concrete element. Remember, the subject is the theme, or the mood, or the characterization, or the tone. Opinion is something about that subject, and then the concrete element is the literary elements. Like we did today, um, the thesis statement that is typical of many beginning writers, this one missed out on the opinion. There was no opinion given. It just said that uh, they were going to characterize Scrooge through many different types of figurative language. That many different types is another issue because you only want to focus on a couple in your paper. Okay. Um, now let's look at another one. Here they actually said which figurative languages they were going to look at, similes and metaphors, and they gave an opinion, archetypal, greedy, and cold-hearted character. So we know they're going to be, the subject they're going to be writing about, the abstract element is characterization of Scrooge. And the literary element they're going to be writing about is figurative language. And their opinion is stated that Scrooge is greedy and cold-hearted. Right there. Okay. Remember, you're not writing these. These are just activities to help you become a better thesis statement writer. You're not actually writing these papers. These are just examples of other papers that other students wrote. The first activity is you judge in these thesis statements. So in this first one, in, Soli, in Holy Sonnet 10, Don's use of personification and mocking comparisons clearly reveal his disdainful attitude towards death. What is the subject? What is the abstract element? Do you see it? attitude. Good. So we're going to be talking about tone. So tone is the subject. What literary elements, concrete, reveal the abstract elements? <coughs> Great. Personification and comparisons. And then what is the writer's opinion about the subject? Well, let, notice that he says mocking comparisons and disdainful attitude. Disdainful meaning not well liked, okay, or hateful. And then right here, you just express is this thesis statement effective? 
Going down, here is a prose, a, a fiction or a book example, and you'll do that yourself. Ask yourself, what is the subject, the abstract element? Is it tone, characterization, theme, mood? Then what literary elements, the concrete, reveal the abstract element? What, what in there does he say um, are the literary elements that he found? Okay. And what is the, the writer's attitude? What are some uh, adjectives that he uses? Okay. And then you express if the thesis statement is effective, if it's a great thesis statement. Here is how you how to evaluate, how to judge literary analysis thesis statements. Okay, and it just basically asks you the same thing. What is the abstract question? Uh, what is the thesis statement? Okay, and there's a couple of those. Activity three, writing a literary analysis thesis statement. That's where you actually write your own, okay, from this poem called Sea Fever. There's a couple of activities about that. Then you move to topic sentences. So what is a topic sentence and how does it relate to a thesis statement? So once you've got your thesis statement, you then go to your topic sentences. Your topic sentences are going to be your main idea sentences in your body paragraphs. They're going to be the very first sentences in every body paragraph. So the first sentence in your three body paragraphs, that's your topic sentence. That's your thesis statement, I mean your uh, main idea sentence. So a topic sentence explains or introduces one of the major points that supports the writer's thesis statement. Each body paragraph in an essay must contain a topic sentence that connects all of the information and analysis in that paragraph to one unified, cohesive idea. And each topic sentence must be related directly to the thesis statement. Um, the main ideas expressed in each topic sentence represent the major divisions of the essay. So what I would probably do for that is just each text, so the metamorphosis gets its paragraph, um, a sestina gets its paragraph, and then ode to sadness gets its paragraph, or whatever other two texts you want to choose. Remember, one of your paragraphs has to be on the metamorphosis, and the other two body paragraphs can be on whatever text that you want to choose, whether it be transformation of a rat into a spider, curious case of Benjamin Button, uh, sestina, or Ode to Sadness, okay? These activities ask you to uh, relate the topic sentences. I think these activities will really help you uh, connect your thesis statement and your topic sentences, okay? Then you write your own topic sentences. And again, this all connects to the poem Sea Fever and then the very last page, page eight, you actually write your own thesis statement for your essay, okay? Uh, I wanted to show you an example. This is from the paper that we wrote the last time. Notice the very first sentence is the thematic statements that we were writing last week about theme. That can be your very first sentence. That can be your hook. Arrogance often compels human beings to act in spiteful and immature ways. Notice that's an awesome way of starting an essay. It, it, it really compels me and drives me to read this essay. Hashtag real. Notice now I've got my thesis statement. My thesis statement is my last sentence of my introductory paragraph. In the myth entitled The Transformation of a Rat into a Spider, the author uses dynamic character transformation and motivation to reveal the relevant theme of arrogance in three, in three key moments. So notice I have my text type, a myth. I've got the, the title of the text, The Transformation of a Rat into a Spider. And then I have the author uses, and then I've got the two literary elements, character transformation, and motivation, really motivation is the device, the literary element that I'm going to write about. That's my concrete. 
And then lastly, I have the theme. So that's my abstract idea that I'm going to write about. Okay. I even go far to say in three key moments. So that's going to connect to my topic sentences. Notice my topic sentences right here. The first key moment occurs in the opening paragraph of the myth. We're going to go through ours a little more in depth. So it's going to say that, but it's going to be a little bit more in depth. Okay. So there is my thesis statement. I hope that tomorrow the packet really gives you some insight into writing a thesis statement because remember your thesis statement is the key to your essay. Okay. If you have any questions, message me on Remind and I hope you have a great day. Behave.